McDermott, frustrating afternoon. We had a lot of the ball, didn't we? Mm. Uh, we had some good chances as well. And um, yeah. I think we say that every week, Bruce. And we, you know, there's we've lost again. And I think uh, it's, it's a new discipline to lose the man on the corner. Um, we're in, not in control of the game, but we're certainly in the game. Having hit the post and had another good chance with the keeper making the save. And then they've got 5,000 crowd behind them and we, we, we don't mark right and we won all down. Now that then is a different ball game, but I still thought we got in the game bringing on Matt Harrell, give us an aerial threat, but we then lacked quality when we did get in behind them with crosses and getting across the keeper. And I just feel we didn't really, we posed a threat up to the final third, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, the final ball, particularly in the second half, I don't remember yeah. us working their keeper a great deal, did no, we? No, that's right. The, the, but the, there were a couple of crosses coming where the keeper caught, and I'm thinking, well, let's get across the keeper and get a header in. Um, but I thought some of the quality of the play we, we were trying to play was, it wasn't clever. You know, we're playing into their midfield blocks rather than going passing through, which we worked on yesterday, and switching the ball left and right, and then the ball comes out and we want to go to the wing, but it doesn't, it goes back inside. I'm going, well, that's not what we worked on, you know. So sometimes the players, they, they you know, I know it's the heat of the battle, but we've got to stay football intelligent and, and dictate the game. So I didn't, I didn't feel we had the quality there, but, you know, hopefully the players that play on Wednesday have got an opportunity to show that they can um, win the Cup, so hopefully we can do that. Any complaints about the sending off at the end? No, I think he pulled him. Josh from uh, the lines we said it was a pull in the box and sloppy with the ball in behind and Joe's gone up you know we got, we got out of shape you know with a couple of minutes to go and that's tough um, by but, then we had Joe Mack up front yeah, so we were chasing yeah, the you're chasing it and it looked it, it's disjointed and the, 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 that's likely to happen so no complaints you talk, mentioned Wednesday the Sussex Senior Cup final um, yeah, long, not, not so long ago it was a big day in the history of Crawley Town to get to that final yeah. now with the Football League status not so much uh, of a, a thing but still nice to go to the Amex with a good strong side and, and, and win that cup it? for I, the fans I hope so yeah I, listen the fans they're, they're, it's tough for the fans I know it you know, it's not nice getting beat and coming away and it's, it's happened too often in my opinion um, but hopefully we can go to the Amex there's an opportunity for all the players that are running behind us now, they haven't got on, who are looking at us you know, with sore lips, can get on there and do something, you know, hopefully for the club and win the um, cup. Got to ask about Glenn Morris in the wars again. Yeah, it wasn't his Glenn. head this week, was it? No, it was his pelvis. I think the guy whacked, he got a whack in the pelvis and the doc looked at him and he just couldn't move. So, But I thought Yusuf come on and done well and uh, nearly got the penalty, so it's confidence for him.